Yo, what's up guys? So today we're gonna be installing a new lip to the Lexus. So I just got it back from it being painted. I've been trying to install this lip for a while now and there's no better way than now. Let's get started. So this is the lip right here. It's a TRD lip. I got it for free, just a good friend of mine. And I went ahead and 3M taped it because my good friend had it on his car. Like another friend that had it on his car. They said that this right here would scratch the paint. So I went ahead and 3M'd it. I already drilled holes in the back of it of it because I had to drill it before I got it painted. But with this one, it so much pretty harsh. With this hole right here, it does poke out like a little bit forward. So I might have to drill another hole. Maybe a little bit right here maybe so that way it can push back a little bit this one's the opposite this one's perfect but i put it right here on accident so if i hit a bump too hard it might break off so i'm about to make a hole right here so the car is jacked up now i can fit the drill under it i do have a friend coming and he said that he was extremely camera shy so if he does come I had to do a voiceover, but he said that he'll be here like 10 minutes ago and he's not here, so we'll see. So what I'm using for hardware will be self-tappers and one actually somewhat self-tap screw. The reason why I'm using self-tappers is because I'm not that great at drilling. And what I recommend for the 3M, uh, what I recommend for the 3M, what I recommend for the 3M will be just like slicing it a little bit and just turning it halfway like you'll see Sorry I wasn't focusing earlier, but this is the lip. It, the fitment's not as good as I wanted it to be right now. I think it still pokes out a little bit in the front a little bit. But also because I didn't take it to kind of a cheap paint shop, I guess, and this is my price. Because the 3M isn't sticking onto the paint right here. It keeps coming loose. It's sticking onto my actual bumper paint. But it's pretty sturdy. It's not coming off so far because thank goodness for the screws. So maybe I'm gonna try to fix this, keep going to try to fix this gap. I guess free comes with a price though. So I managed to push it back a little bit. It's still kind of there because there's a gap with the 3M right now. See, it's like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like a gap right there with the 3M. And this one's, <laughs> it's not doing good. This is probably the most biggest fail video, but at least you guys get a good laugh then while I'm here. Hey, so what I did here, I'm gonna, I don't really have like a bit right now. I use one of the soft tappers just to make a little bit so I can put the longer one, which is this one. This is a soft tapper too, but I had tr trouble last time while I was making these little holes to put this one in. So I use a soft tapper at first just to make a little hole. I'm gonna drill it out and just make this one all the way through. So 
what we ended up doing for this side is removing the 3M completely to cover this gap a little bit tighter. And we pushed it back and it looks way better without the 3M. But it's just holding about three screws now, which is kind of sketchy. But for some reason, this side I use a 3M and it sits pretty nice right here. And then this side, I think, yeah, this side we used the M2 and pressed it back. And it's not that bad. And bad paint job, poor chip. It's whatever. Alright. That's the lid. This is probably like the worst video ever. But. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next week. Later. Thank you.